Hello guys, welcome back to Chanda DIY. And today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a strip vest. It is really easy pattern and you guys can make any size that you want. And now let's get into the video. First, we are going to make the front part of the vest. To begin, make a slip knot. And chain 70, it is equal 14 inches length. It's the size from one underarm to another underarm. If you guys want your vest bigger, please add more chains. Remember, your foundation chains must be the even number. After you reach your desired fit, next, for row 1, we are going to make single crochet. To begin, skip one chain and make single crochet into the second chain. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop. So now, you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Keep repeating this into every chain until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, next, for row 2, we are going to make the suzette stitch. Chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet into the stitch near chain 1. After you have made a single crochet, then make the ball crochet into the same stitch with chain 1. To make the ball crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops, and yarn over pull through 2 loops again. So you must have 2 stitches in the same loop. Next, skip 1 stitch and make single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Remember, in this pattern, we are going to skip one stitch and make two stitches in the same loop. Keep repeating this into every stitch until you have two last stitches remain, then I will meet you back again.
after you have two last stitches remain then skip one stitch and make single crochet into the last stitch but we only make the half single crochet and then we are going to change the color after you got two loops on your hook then drop the brown color and grab the new color yarn over and pull through two loops next cut off the brown color pull these two strands of yarn a little bit to give a nice and tight stitch next for row 3 chain 1 turn your work and we are going to repeat the same thing like row 2 by make one single crochet and one double crochet into the stitch near chain 1 don't forget to bring these two strands of yarn along with the row After you have made 2 stitches in the same loop, next, skip 1 stitch and make single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. One more thing, in this pattern, we always skip the double crochet stitch then make a single crochet and a double crochet into the single crochet stitch as you can see keep repeating this into every stitch until the end of the row then I will meet you back again After you got two loops on your hook, then drop the white yarn and cut it off. For this vest, I'm gonna make combination of three colors. Bring the other color, yarn over and pull through two loops. For the next next row, we are going to repeat the same thing like row 2 until you reach row 36. It is equal 8.5 inches length. If you guys want your top longer, please add more rows.
So for the dark brown color, I'm gonna crochet it with two rows. After you reach the end of the row, you don't have to change the color. Just make a single crochet into that last stitch. Then chain one and turn your work. Keep repeating this by combining the color until you reach row 36, then I will meet you back again. So this is what the front half part of the vest looks like. Try this front piece on your body by putting it underneath your underarm to see how short or how long your vest is. Like I said, if you guys want your waist longer, please add more rows. And if you want it shorter, please make less roll. Next, we are going to make the V-neckline and the strap for this waist. To begin, fold this piece into two pieces. And use stitch marker to mark the middle part of it. Remember, you only mark at a single crochet stitch. Continue from where your last stitch is. For row 1, chain 1, turn your work. Then we are going to make Suzette stitch decrease. To make Suzette stitch decrease, skip 2 stitches and make half single crochet into the third stitch. Insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have 2 loops on your hook. Then we are going to make the ball crochet into the same loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through all 3 loops. So this is how we decrease for Suzette stitch. Next, make Suzette stitch until you have 4 last stitches away from the stitch marker. Then I will meet you back again. When I said make Suzette stitch, it means that we are going to skip one stitch and make single crochet and a double crochet into the next stitch. Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this single crochet stitch. It is easy to know where we start and end the row. After you had 4 last stitches remain, then we are going to make Suzette stitch decrease again by skip 1 stitch and make half single crochet into the next stitch. After you got 2 loops on your hook, then continue make double crochet into the same loop. After you got 4 loops on your hook, then skip 1 stitch and continue insert the hook into the stitch that we mark. Yarn over and pull through the loop. So now you have 5 loops on your hook. Then cut off the brown color and we are going to change the color. Remove the stitch marker. Yarn over and pull through all 5 loops. So this is how we change the color with a decreasing stitch.
402 until row 4, chain 1, turn your work, and skip 2 stitches, then make suicide stitch into the 3rd stitch, Keep making suzette stitch until you have 4 last stitches away from the stitch marker. Then we are going to make the crease again and change the color. After you reach row 4, next for row 5, chain 1, turn your work and make suzette stitch until you have 4 last stitches. Then we are going to make suzette stitch decrease again. So start from row 5, we make decreasing stitch only one side. It's the V neck side.
After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and turn your work, then make suicide stitch decrease. After you have made suicide stitch decrease, then continue make suicide stitch until the end of the row. Next, for row 7, chain 1, turn your work, and make suicide stitch until the end of the row, and change the color at that last stitch. So start from row 7, we are stop make decreasing stitch, just make regular suicide stitch. If you guys want your neckline look white, please keep decreasing by repeat row 5 and row 6. It means that we only decreasing at the v-neck part, until you reach the top of your shoulder measurement. For the measurement of the top of my shoulder, it is equal to 2.5 inches width. For the next next row, we are going to repeat row 7 until you reach row 30. It is equal 7.5 inches length. After you guys keep decreasing until you reach the top of your shoulder measurement, then stop decreasing and just make regular zigzag stitch until you reach the length from your decreasing stitch to the top of your shoulder. So this is what your straps looks like after you reach row 30. Then chain 1 and leave a long tail. It keeps for sewing. Next, turn your top. We are start working from the middle part of the top. Attach the brown yarn by insert the hook into the same stitch that we made decrease or the stitch that we use stitch marker to mark. Then chain 1. Next, we are going to repeat the same thing like the first side. By repeat row 1 until you reach row 4. Then repeat row 5 and row 6 by make decreasing stitch only one side at the neckline part. Then after you reach row 6 for row 7 until row 30, just make regular suicide stitch. So you must have 6 rows of decreasing stitch and 24 rows of regular suicide stitch, no decrease.
Next, we are going to make the back part of the vest. For the half back part, just repeat the same thing like the front half part by make 70 chains and make suzette stitch until you reach row 36. Then we are going to make decrease. Continue from where your last stitch is. For row 1, chain 1, turn your work. And we are going to make suzette stitch decrease like the front part. After you have made decrease, then continue make regular zuzet stitch until you have 6 last stitches, then I will meet you back again. After you had 6 last stitches remain, then we are going to make decrease by skip 1 stitch and insert the hook into the next stitch. After you got 2 loops on your hook, then yarn over, insert the hook into the same loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop, so now you have 4 loops on your hook, then skip 1 stitch and continue insert the hook into the next stitch. After you got 5 loops on your hook, then skip 1 stitch and continue insert the hook into this last stitch. Yarn over and pull through the loop, so now you have 6 loops on your hook. Then cut off the brown yarn and we are going to change the color. Yarn over and pull through all 6 loops. Next, for row 2 until row 4, chain 1, turn your work and skip 2 stitches, then make suicide stitch into the 3rd stitch. Keep making suzette stitch until you have 4 last stitches away from the stitch marker. Then we are going to make suzette stitch decrease again like the front part and change the color. So for the back part of the vest, we only make 4 rows of decreasing stitch. Next, for row 5 until row 30, chain 1, turn your work, and make suzette stitch until the end of the row. Measuring from row 1 until row 30, it is equal 7.5 inches length. It is the same size like the front part, which is where we make the v-neck line until the top of the shoulder.
After you reach row 30, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to sew both parts together. After you sew both straps together, next we are going to make slip stitch into this both side. Attach the yarn into the row 36. And chain 1. To make slip stitch, Insert the hook into both loops Yarn over and pull through all the loops Keep repeating this into every stitch until the end of the row Then I will meet you back again After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, repeat the same thing to the other side. Turn the vest right side out. Next, we are going to make ribbing panel for the sleeves. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1. Next, make single crochet into every stitch around the sleeve until you reach in one stitch, then I will meet you back again. Remember, for the curved part where we made decrease, please make two single crochet into the same stitch.
After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the chain 1 stitch to connect the row. Next, we are going to make the ribbing stitch. Continue from where your last stitch is and chain 5. If you guys want the ribbing part longer, please add more chains. After you have made 5 chains, next, follow 1. Skip 1 chain and make single crochet into the second chain. Keep making single crochet into every chain until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the single crochet stitch to connect the row. After you have made a slip stitch, then make another slip stitch into the next stitch. Next, for row 2, turn your work. And skip 2 stitches that we have made slip stitch. Then we are going to make single crochet but into the back loop of the stitch only. After you reach the end of the row, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work, and make single crochet back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the single crochet stitch. After you have made a slip stitch, next we are going to make slip stitch decrease by skip one stitch and make slip stitch into the next stitch. For the next next row, we are going to repeat row 2 and row 3 into the curved part of the sleeve
The purpose of making the crease at the curve part of the sleeve because it helps the curve part not look stretching or rough fall. After you keep decreasing until you reach the normal part, which is the straight part, then just make regular ribbing stitch without decreasing until you reach the other curve part again. Then start making decrease into that part. After you reach the end of the row, then flip the ribbing panel wrong side out and we are going to make slip stitch both sides together. Next, repeat the same thing to the other side. Next, we are going to make single crochet around the neckline. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1. For row 1, make single crochet into every stitch around the neckline until you reach chain 1 stitch. Then we are going to make slip stitch to connect the row. After you reach the end of the row, next follow 2, chain 1, and continue make single crochet around the neckline until you reach the chain 1 stitch, then make slip stitch to connect the row. Next, we are going to make the ribbing panel around the waist. To begin, attach the yarn and chain 1. Then, make single crochet into every stitch around until you reach chain 1 stitch. Then make slip stitch to connect the row.
Then we are going to make the ribbing stitch by make 10 chains and repeat the same thing like the ribbing panel around the sleeve. For the ribbing panel around the waist, you guys can make slip stitch decrease in every 5 rows. It means that you make no more ribbing stitch for 5 rows and then make slip stitch decrease for 1 row or 2 rows. It helps the bottom of the vest to fit around your waist. After you reach the end of the row, then flip the ribbing panel wrong side out and make slip stitch both sides together. And now your strip vest is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.